What is going on YouTube? Everything Epan here and today this is a little bit of a different tutorial. It's a technology tutorial but it's just a little different. It's a video tutorial and it's going to show you how to use Windows XP in Windows 7. This is only for Windows 7 users. This only works for Windows 7. Doesn't work for Vista. It might work for Vista. Um, does not work for Windows 8 or Windows 10 just works for Windows 7 but it's basically um, this is basically kind of a thing that creates a virtual machine for you it does not require VirtualBox and it does not require uh, VMware it uses Windows Virtual PC which is straight from the Microsoft website this link is also straight from the Microsoft website so um, you won't have to worry about any errors or anything like that but what you want to do is you want to go to the uh, first link in the description and that will get you to download Windows Virtual PC so you want to hit the download button right here and then this one right here is for 32-bit PCs this one is for 64-bit I will need this one so he would hit next and then it'll do its thing it'll ask you to download it go ahead and open it or hit the download button down here in the corner or whatever open it over here if you're in Chrome and then you need to go through the um, setup installation of uh, Windows Virtual PC and this should not take too long this should just be kind of a quick process but since um, I already have Windows Virtual PC you can see it's right there um, next you need to download Windows XP mode and I usually just download the NUS, not the NNUS. It was kind of confusing, but I usually just download the top one. You hit next. And then you would run the downloader. And then it would take um, it take a little bit of time for it to download just depending on your speeds. It's a 462, I think, or so megabyte um, download. So just depending on your internet speed and uh, stuff like that um, it could take a long time for it to download or it could take quick like uh, mine but my internet's probably more than average speeds of what anybody else gets so it's at 50 percent as of now so um, I think I'm going to be starting a new Madden series. I'm going to be doing like a a Madden 16 Draft Champion series because that first video I kind of like doing Madden 16. I like. I think I might start doing Madden videos more often. Maybe even other gaming videos. Let me know in the comments if you want to see any gameplay or if you like seeing the Draft Champions episodes. Even though I've only done like two, but. Um, it could be a future thing because honestly I love doing draft champions I could do ultimate team as well even though my ultimate team is not like high rated like everybody else everybody else has got like 99 rated I've only got like an 85 and I've had this game since Christmas so we're nearing the end of the download for the XP uh, virtual hard drive type deal basically and once that's finished downloading it should give you like a setup prompt yep right there you will not need this anymore so it's basically just a setup I, I have VirtualBox on here because I thought this was for like VirtualBox or something but literally it just runs straight through Windows Virtual PC so you just hit next twice then if you see this little user account control window you'd hit yes I'll just let you know I am doing this in a virtual machine I do not have Windows 7 installed on my computer as you see I'd, I'd have all my programs over here plus it's not even genuine so this can take some time right here because it's got to install the virtual hard disk and that can definitely take some time so we're gonna just let it go and now it's done so hit finish and it's gonna launch the Windows XP mode is what it's called that's what uh, it's called Windows XP mode 
and it's only for Windows 7 users. So now you're going to need to create a password. And you can hear in the background I also got a new keyboard. It's a mechanical keyboard, so I, I'm glad I got that. Um, you can do either one, but I just do help by turning on automatic updates. You can do either one, though. Just hit Start Setup. And sometimes people may get an error on the first try. Sometimes it just takes a little bit just to restart your computer, or if you're doing this in a virtual machine, restart your machine, and then just do this Windows XP mode. Um, again, you don't have to download it again. It's like a file saved on your computer. It should be in your uh, all programs in your start menu, like right over here. I don't know if I can show you, but it should show up in your and this is being really slow it should show up in your all programs under virtual PC Windows XP mode right there and now it's gonna say it's setting up Windows XP mode for first use and this is just basically kinda like uh, this is literally kinda just like a shorter version of installing it in a virtual machine like it's doing everything for you like you don't have to do any of the work so this would save a lot of time for some people and I think this is more based for people that um, needed this XP um, thing to get software to work. Like if they had older software and it doesn't work for like Windows 7 or anything, they would use this. But I guess it's free for it's free for anybody to use. Anybody can use it. So um, what we're going to do now is just we're going to let this sit and we're going to uh, let the process go through you guys. And I will be back once we hit the end of this process of setting up the first use. Okay, so we had a problem with the audio in the second cut here. So I am doing a voiceover for the second part of the video. But after the first use part, it'll go through a couple more things. Try and start up the virtual machine. And then you should get the virtual machine window here after all the installation process is complete. And you'll get up with the login screen that will load your personal settings and will give you the Windows XP login screen. It should automatically log you in if you have your password remembered. Otherwise, I believe you have to type in your password. So... Um, It'll log you in, and this thing only has 512 megabytes of RAM, so it's going to be pretty slow, and it'll, it'll be confirmed in the later part of the video. And there's some tabs up there that says Actions, USB, Tools, and there's a Control-Alt-Delete button as well. And this, I believe, is Windows XP um, Service Pack 3 version 2002, so it's an old build of Windows XP, but um, it's kind of neat how they can do this, but this is built uh, mainly towards business users that have old software can, that only supports with Windows XP. So it's kind of neat that they do that. So uh, that's the video tutorial. This only works, I believe, for Windows 7. It does not work for 8 or 10. might work for Vista. I'm not sure. But this is a video tutorial on how to uh, run Windows XP uh, emulator or whatever in VirtualBox using Windows Virtual PC. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Like the video if this helped you out. Also, uh, leave me some comments on what I should do and also what you think of the Draft Champions or Madden series, even though I'm probably going to keep doing it. I kind of just want to hear you guys' feedback just to see what you would think of it. But um, I think it's kind of neat. So um, we're just going to go with that, but I just kind of want to hear your feedback. Also, subscribe. I believe we're nearing uh, about 1,200 subscribers so i thank you guys for that we've been growing a lot it seems like maybe not to you guys but to me it seems like we've been growing a ton and i thank you guys for that for being a part of the community and i just advise you just to keep sharing and everything and help the channel grow that's it's kind of the goal so that ends the video thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys in the next video